Today I'm going to show you how to draw a pie chart. So what we've got in example one, uh, we've got a little survey on favourite days of the week. So seven people said their favourite day was Friday, eight people said Saturday, three people said Sunday, two people said Monday. So before you start drawing out your pie chart, first of all you need to work out the angles for each of the days of the week. So do this by working out the total amount of people that took part in the survey. So we got 8, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So altogether we've got 20 people in the survey. Now what we're going to do is calculate the angle for one person on the pie chart. And we do this by dividing this total into 360. So this is your important formula when you have to draw a pie chart. So you need to remember this. So you add up the amount of people in the survey and divide it into 360. So in this example here, our angle for one person will be 360 divided by 20. And this comes out as 18 degrees. So every person in our survey is worth 18 degrees. So all we need to do now is work out the angle for each day of the week. So seven people said Friday. So if we do seven times 18, so you can use your calculator to do this. So seven times 18 is 126. Again, times the eight by the 18. So eight times 18. 144. Uh, 3 times 18 is 54. And 2 times 18 is 36 degrees. Now, before you actually draw out your pie chart, just check that these angles add up to 360 degrees because 360 degrees in a full circle. There we go, so you can see that they add up to 360. So we can get on now and draw our pie chart. So if we put a dot on your page, um, if you draw around the outside of your protractor, you'll get quite a good circle. Or you can use your compass. Just go from 180 around to zero and turn that around. Do the same again. So you just want a north line so you can measure your angles from. So our first angle is 126. It doesn't actually matter which order you do these in. I'm just going to go from top to bottom to make it easier. So 126, so if you follow it around on the outside, let's put a marker here. Right, now let's just turn our protractor and measure the next angle. So if we put our centre back on the centre and get zero on that little marker. So our next angle is 144. So again, let's mark that one out. So again, turn your protractor around, and the next angle is 54. Again, put a little marker. And then the final one is 36. Let's just check that last bit is 36. Yeah, as you can see, that's spot on. So, let's just draw the lines in. And then the final thing is just to label your pie chart. So we've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. You could actually do a key as well 
and colour it in if you prefer that will make it look neater but if you're in an exam it's only going to waste the time so that's about it for drawing a pie chart so the main thing to remember is this formula here and that will give you the angles for the pie chart so just remember 360 divided by the total amount of people in the survey